this series, the ancestral voices is so important because that's exactly what it is. It is our ancestors talking to us, reminding us of where we not only have come from, not only where we are, but where it is we must go. The creator or God is actually nature. And nature manifests as this universal intelligence that we commonly call God. The other is that the creator is a feminine principle or a female. So this notion of God within the traditions is not, God is not an entity or a being sat in a lovely place we can call heaven and all the rest of it. But what we actually call God is life in process. It's actually about the creation process. African cosmologies are ecological in their teachings. So it's all about living in harmony with your natural environment. Therefore, respecting nature is an essential tenet that you will find in all of the cosmologies across the continent. Simply because it's a natural science. It's not divorced from nature. Without nature, there is no life. So, so long as there continues to be nature, which then sustains human and other animal life, there will always be African spirituality. It's the bedrock. It's the very foundation of existence. And Ancestral Voices does a phenomenal job in doing that. Uh -huh. And I encourage people to understand that these are the steps that we have to take to research and to rescue and to restore our great legacy. It's embedded in many of the traditions to keep the memory of someone alive. Even if it's through storytelling, it's about continuing that legacy and also maintaining memory because in the African worldview, one of the most important things is that a person never really dies until nobody remembers them anymore. So it's about honoring that memory and keeping that spirit alive. The association with negativity is so prevalent that most people without having any knowledge on a subject at all will still come up with something such as, oh, those traditions are evil. Those traditions are negative. They're actually witchcraft against God, something that we shouldn't be involved in. And this is something that is internalized from Africans on the continent to those in the diaspora and people globally. And all of this has been reinforced by the media, educational institutions, and other religious organizations. So the second assumption that's made about African spirituality in a very negative light is the fact that it's meant to be this backward um, practice, you know, one that is not founded on any philosophical or if you want to call it scientific underpinnings. And the interesting thing is nothing could be further from the truth. Because what we're increasingly seeing in the field of Western science now, especially what we now call quantum science, in the area particularly of quantum physics, is that most of the indigenous wisdom and knowledge is now being proven as fact. 2013, Emory University, the School of Medicine, um, conducted a research um, into how DNA determines a person's personality and general character, okay? And what um, they found or concluded was that everything that you think about yourself, you know, your phobias, your preferences, your dislikes, all these things are determined by markers in your DNA. And they're all from previous ancestors that you have had, okay? Now, this is very interesting because for however long that Africans have been mentioning that it's possible to continue a relationship with your ancestors even as they've departed in the flesh. 